Hi. In this episode of Warrior 101, we're emphasizing that you win every gunfight you avoid. We want to be men of peace who don't go looking for trouble, while at the same time being soberly prepared for trouble that may come in a fallen world. The three keys to avoiding gunfights are, one, don't go to stupid places, two, don't hang out with stupid people, and three, don't do stupid things. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Stupid places are places with increased risk where I don't need to be. I often have a look at a crime map before committing to going somewhere. Is the neighborhood safe? Is the walking path from the parking to the venue safe when I plan to visit? Are local criminals emboldened by lax law enforcement? Is the place known for drug and alcohol use? There are usually ample opportunities for the things I want to do in safer neighborhoods. I don't go anywhere with a gun that I wouldn't go without a gun. Stupid people are those looking for trouble. But here I expand my definition of trouble beyond violence itself to the kinds of trouble that increase the risk of violent encounters. People in adulterous relationships are looking for trouble, as are those who are painting outside the lines in other ways. People who are under the influence of alcohol or drugs or in possession of illegal drugs are also looking for trouble. It may not be their intent to look for trouble, but trouble often becomes their reality. Doing stupid things means doing the things that are likely to arouse violent passions in others. Even if your intent is innocent, are you doing something that might be misinterpreted by other parties? Does it look like you're flirting with another man's wife? Does it look like you're attempting to gain entry into someone else's car, someone else's home? Are you trespassing on someone else's property? Does it look like you're going for a gun? Ask the Lord to show you how to live at peace with all men as far as it depends on you. Ask God to prompt you by the Holy Spirit when a situation gets iffy so you can leave before trouble starts. And go ahead and leave when the drugs come out, when the bad characters arrive, or when you begin to sense that the level of peace in a situation is deteriorating. Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland who founded Global Servants, I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey him?